I'm Joan Moody, retiring from the Office of Communications, and you're watching This Week at Interior. This Week at Interior. President Trump awarded the Medal of Honor to retired Army Staff Sergeant David Bellavia at the White House this week. Staff Sergeant Bellavia single-handedly saved his entire squad in Fallujah, Iraq in 2004 in the face of overwhelming enemy fire. Earlier this week, he got a personal tour of the Lincoln Memorial from Secretary Bernhardt. Bellavia is the first living recipient of the Medal of Honor among Iraq War veterans. The President and his Secretary will salute all of America's military service members this 4th of July from the National Mall in Washington, D.C. A day of events will feature a presidential address from the Lincoln Memorial, the concert on the Capitol's West Lawn, and the spectacular annual fireworks display. And for the first time in years, the areas around the National World War II Memorial, Constitution Gardens, and the Reflecting Pool will be open to the public. You can find the full schedule at mbs.gov FOJU. Secretary Bernhardt spoke to the Sport Fishing and Boating Partnership Council this week about expanding recreational activities and increasing conservation efforts. The proposed Hunt Fish Rule for 2019-2020 aims to expand hunting and fishing opportunities on 1.4 million acres at 74 national wildlife refuges and 15 national fish hatcheries nationwide. A new report this week shows the economic impact of the National Wildlife Refuge System. More than 56 million people visited refuges between October 2016 and September 2017, spending more than $3 billion, generating more than 41,000 jobs and more than a billion dollars in income. See the full Banking on Nature report at FWS.gov. Secretary Bernhardt is saluting the efforts of Interior's Opioid Reduction Task Force. Over the past year, that task force has seized more than 3,200 pounds of illegal narcotics worth nearly $10 billion. Get the full story at BIA.gov. The Secretary is applauding the nomination this week of Sequoia Simmermeyer for Chair of the National Indian Gaming Commission. Simmermeyer is a member of the Kahari Tribe. He's advised the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs, served under the Department of the Interior's Assistant Secretary for Indian Affairs, and worked for the National Congress of American Indians. USGS tested its ShakeAlert earthquake early warning delivery via FEMA's wireless emergency alert system throughout San Diego County, California. The test messages went out to more than 3 million residents. 50 years ago this weekend, the modern LGBTQ rights movement began with a midnight raid on a New York bar. On June 28, 1969, patrons of the Stonewall Inn fought back against police harassment and a movement was born. Stonewall is now a national monument, the first monument to LGBTQ equality. And our social media picture of the week, the majestic Fisher Towers in Utah. The towers are maintained by the Bureau of Land Management. The tallest rock formation, the Titan, towers 700 feet above the surrounding landscape, making it the tallest rock tower in the United States. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's This Week at Interior.